right, let's talk about the effects. There are six effects and they are located just below those menu buttons. So we've got harmony, double, reverb, special effects or SFX, pitch and delay. So let's do harmony first. If you hold any of these buttons down, they're gonna take you to a simple editing menu. So for harmony, uh, we start with style. Oops. So first one is high, higher, lower, low, octave up. There's several different styles. Just depends what you want. I always recommend just trying uh, and seeing which harmonies sound best with what you're doing. Um, next up we have level. This is adjusting the volume of the harmonies compared to your lead vocal. So if you want harmonies to be subtle and in the background, you're gonna want that level to be low. If you want it to be as forefront as your vocal, then you bring it all the way up. Personal preference, again, try it all out and see what you like the best. Okay, the next one is key. Key is very important because you want the harmonies to be singing in the same key as you and not in some other random key. So auto means that the sing thing is gonna listen to the chord information that's coming through either your guitar or maybe you have your a backing track through the auxiliary or some keys. Uh, basically any audio source that comes into this, it will take that audio information and uh, figure out what key you're in for you automatically. It's magic. If you don't have an instrument plugged into the same thing or a backing track to tell it what key the song that you're playing in is, you can actually program in your key and scale. So you just use the control knob to scroll through. So if you're in the key of E, you can program that there. Hit your navigation button to go to the next screen and you're gonna tell the same thing if the key is major or minor. There's three different major, major choices and there's also three different minor choices. So uh, play around with it, see which one works best and uh, remember that so you can write it down for each song, or for each preset rather. Okay, and that's harmony. So it tells me up here uh, the key and scale that I've just selected, E minor three. The next effect is double. So we're gonna hold that down and get into that editing menu. So we've got our different doubling styles. You can choose any of there. Doubling is a really great effect. It actually gets used a lot in uh, post-production when you're recording uh, a song. So you double the voice quite often in the choruses of songs. And often if you're recording uh, harmonies, you're also doubling harmonies. So we thought we'd bring it to the live setting. So you can either do uh, tight doubling or loose doubling, two voices, octave up, octave down. There's tons in here to choose from, so play around with those. Again, we can uh, adjust your levels up or down, and that's in, in uh, relation to your lead vocal. So if you want it to be a subtle doubling, you have the level set lower. If you want it to be predominant and like right up forefront with your vocal, have it high. Reverb, press that down. Again, you get your style menu, lots of different reverb choices. And then your level, higher or lower. Um, just depends how washy you want it to sound. Reverb is basically like you're putting yourself in, in a room. So if you think about the way your voice bounces off uh, the bathroom wall versus when you walk into a huge cathedral and if you were allowed to shout <laughs> or be loud in a cathedral, you have this big, beautiful, resonant reverb. Next up, we have our SFX menu. Press that, sorry, hold that rather, and you have your style menu. So there's a lot of different like flanger, alien voiceover. These are kind of our random special effects that are uh, kind of out there and fun. You probably maybe wouldn't use them all the time. Uh, megaphone is one. Hey, this is megaphone that I like to use pretty often in some of my songs because I think it's really fun. And uh, yeah, so style and uh, this has a drive. So if you want it to be a little more gritty or kind of more oomph to it. You want to make that uh, a higher drive. Filter, there's a filter option there. And then to get out of the edit menu, you just tap that again. Pitch, hold that down. So there's different styles of pitch. So there's kind of like a pop pitch uh, which is going to be a little more like that uh, share song, you believe, that more T-Pain style, uh, hard tune style of pitch. And then there's um, 
one that's correct natural, which means it's just going to give you that natural pitch correction. Uh, then you can shift the pitch. This is like shifting the gender. So. That's low. Put that back at zero. Here's the gender. And those are all of your choices for pitch. Hit that again, it takes us back to our home menu. And last one, delay. So lots of different styles of delay, quarter delays, eighth delays, ping pong. Uh, I think we've got slap in there. Yeah, there it is, classic slap. So when doing like a, a, a quarter delay or a triplet delay, you can use your tap tempo button here to tap out the tempo of your song so that your delays match up really nicely with what you're doing. Hey, check. So again, we've got our level. You can adjust that with the control knob. And that's delay. So right now, you can see that two of these are lit up and the other four are not. That means when I'm singing that the double is gonna be activated and reverb is gonna be activated. Um, at any time, you just tap them once and they're gonna activate these other effects. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video. If you have any questions at all, throw those in the comments section and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer those questions for you.